What are you doing? I am getting the last little bit of lotion out of my Bath and Body Works. Does anybody else cut theirs open like I do? I cut and open toothpaste tubes because I don't like to in. buy toothpaste. I know, it's funny, but I'm like, there's there's still more down there, but no matter how much I squirt it, it doesn't come out. So I just, I just cut open the bottle. That's how I do. That's how I do it. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you can find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time I over lotion, you'll be alerted to it, or at least Joe will. Nice. You know, I'm looking at your nails. It's time to get them done this week. Is it time? Yeah, because it's past Halloween. Well, and there's nothing more aggravating than driving around a week or two after a holiday. It's so sad. Especially Halloween. Right. I don't know why. But You're like, why like, do you have a skeleton in your yard? It, it's like, okay, Thanksgiving's next week. Can we take down the skeletons and the ghouls and all that stuff? Christmas, I'll give you a week, week and a half. Well, but... I'm, you're expecting, okay, here we go. Done, done, <laughs> done, 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 done. Come on over here, Come man. on. She just likes to showcase. She's walking the catwalk. Get it? Yeah. She wants to show her fashion for today. No, I was just thinking, like, I don't want to be rushed to take down my Christmas decorations because that's going to impact my Easter. <laughs> Sometimes we can be really slow getting our Christmas stuff down. Okay, I don't know what we're calling this. Today is the first day after beef butter, bacon, and eggs. We're going to have to, I don't know, the road, I don't know. We'll have to think about something. Oh, but The road. The road. Like the know. road after? The road after. <laughs> Highway to heaven, guys. <laughs> Michael Landon hitchhiking past us. I was I'm thinking. Done. No, not even. I'm just beginning. It's the morning. Okay. I, I was thinking this morning, though, today is the moment of truth. That's what I was thinking. Today is the moment of truth. It's the moment we step on the scale. That is not the moment of truth. It has been a month of truth. Mm -hmm. It's been a month and more of just finding out when are we truly hungry? What is my true thought process going into fasting? What is my my truth when it comes to um, where I'm at as far as menstruation goes? Like there's a lot of truth that was unveiled. Now we're just gonna walk in that truth. What I wanna know is why you for some reason feel, because I've been battling with this for three days with you, that you are up in weight, up in size, and have had absolutely no results, other than the fact that you've been able to eat. My grand Because I'm looking at you, and your waist has gotten tiny. Thank you. But you keep telling me, I don't want to show my pictures because I know I'm bigger than I used to be. My grandfather, when, when he was alive, he was like my bestie. And I would call him before a big test. And I would say, okay, I want you to pray for my test. I'm taking my test today. And he would say, before I do that, tell me something. Did you study for it? Did you do what was right? Did you attend class? Did you listen to the teacher? Did you do your homework? And I would say like, yes. And he was like, okay, I will pray that God will bring back to your remembrance the things that you've studied, but I want you to know going in, you've done everything that you could do. And that's why I feel comfortable praying for you now and cheering for you now. So. I get stressed out because today I feel like it's test day because I have to get on that stinking scale after so long being without it. But we've done what we were supposed to do and we have to trust the process. What are you going to do if you're up five pounds? Continue living. I can't like, you know, will you consider, jump off a building. Will you consider beef, butter, bacon, and egg a failure if you're up in weight? Oh. Now, I mean, we did say, and we keep telling you guys that, it wasn't this was a not a weight loss thing. This yeah. was not about losing weight. This was about proving a point 
resetting our bodies, eliminating pretty much anything that could possibly be causing us inflammation, and then also maybe getting some recomposition. But if you don't see the results that we have thought you would see. Yeah. Like forget even the number on the scale. What if you your clothes aren't looser or what if the measurements are identical to they were 45 days ago? Will you have considered this a waste because that means you could have been eating all these other things and been in the same spot you're in right now? I won't consider it a waste because number one, I know what's going on on the inside of me. Like I know how I have felt during this process and I have not felt this good in, in quite some time. Like mm. I cannot remember the last time that I had zilcho ever inflammation. Like right. I have not had a, any pain. I haven't had any headache. I haven't had any like um, trouble with my day. I've had plenty of energy. Right. I, and so I felt great. I love what is happening to my skin and my nails. I can tell that there's movement going on in my clothes, but like you said, what if there isn't this drastic change in the measurements? So like what Especially if Especially considering like in God's amazing sense of humor. Yeah. On way in day, you've got your friend visiting. I do. <laughs> I do, and so... <laughs> Which increases the scale. Like, I, that, God's just got a sense of humor, right? right? There's nothing that I can do about that. And I was really feeling stressed out about it, and I think my biggest worry is that if I don't have, like, 35-pound weight loss and 18 inches off my body, somebody else won't try it. Right. Somebody else won't try it. And if they don't try it for themselves, they may not come to discover some of their relationship with food issues, mm -hmm. some of the, the thoughts that they think about themselves that are negative. Like we've been able to wade through a lot of negativity right. and find a new lease on life. So I think that it was important for us to just do that. And I'm afraid that people won't try things for themselves if they don't see some like dynamic weight loss right that's what i'm afraid of yeah i mean i see a difference in my shirts i don't notice as big as a difference in my pants though the shorts i was wearing yesterday literally almost fell down because i wasn't wearing a belt as i was walking through lows yeah thanks so for that, that that would not have been a good thing but were you in the plumber section <laughs> no i was not uh but i think a big takeaway for me is just yeah looking at my relationship with food and so if that was the only thing that is accomplished with this, I think I'll be pretty happy. I'll be pretty happy knowing that like, hey, at minimum, you can just eat a whole bunch of meat and, and not, you know, go up tremendously in size like you have in the past. But we'll, we'll have to see what happens, especially considering the lab side of it is probably going to take a few days because we ordered some more Much extensive tests. Much more extensive, tests. yeah. As opposed to last time we got all our results within like 36 hours. These could take a little bit longer. We're looking for particle size and things like that. So we'll have to see how things go with it. But we're going to do all that later on. I know it's going to be a little bit later of an eating day. Uh, so, But we are going to do Buffalo Wild Wings. Some people have told me that they weren't doing BOGO anymore from what I can see on the website, at least for ours, they still are. But I, I have no idea. Whether they are or not, I have like three gift cards for Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> so, so Buffalo Wild, Buffalo Wings, Wild is... Wings is what it is. Because if I wasn't like already thinking about it, I'd say, okay, let's do keto chow. Or let's have cheese. But let's ease our way back in with another protein. So I know you have to get to your meetings. Anthony and I have to go to cut down a dead tree before the city finds the church. Oh, we don't want that. And I'm starting with some back coffee. Back to bookkeeping for me. Yeah? Yeah, I'm doing bookkeeping. That's fine. For the business because Joe is really lazy and likes to put things off. So I have well, it's like, not April, so that's good. Yeah, but I have 10 months of receipts to put into oh, like, wow. the system because I just started myself back up with like a different... Well, I'm switching over to QuickBooks Online so that I can track my receipts better. So hopefully I'm better at it because I was using QuickBooks on the computer, but then what happens is, is all the receipts from like, you know, when I'm out and about, they get shoved in a pocket or just saved on the computer. 
and then I never put them in. And then come January, February, I'm scrambling. So I'm hoping if I have QuickBooks online, I can snap a picture and it goes right into QuickBooks. And right. there's no more transferring stuff between Expensify and everything else. But it's like my eyes are like tired of looking at the computer. I'm starting with black coffee. Black coffee. Black coffee. Wow. Let's do it. I'm in. I'm just having some water. Look where we are at. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, baby. Are you excited? I'm so excited. It was funny. We kept calling. There's to, no answer on the phone. And there's no answer on the phone. And Joe was like, has it closed since we've been on the challenge? Well, the thing is, when you go online, it says there's no Buffalo Wild Wing within 100 miles of us. I think they're just messing with us. Well, when I called another store, I was like, is the Coral Springs store still open? They're like, yes. And I'm like, it doesn't show up on the website. And he was like, well, a couple of these stores became franchises instead of corporate owned. Oh. And maybe that's why they're not on the website. But he's like, you're supposed to be able to order on the website. I'm like, it says there's no Buffalo Wild Wings. Answer honestly. If this wasn't open, you'd drive to Orlando if you needed to, I you? thought about driving down to Fort Lauderdale. You haven't walked through those doors in a while. Look at me. Oh my gosh. They actually have a doll content creator. Look at how cute is this? Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Of course, if I'm going to be a content creator, storm chaser, professional gymnast, zoologist, no way. I want to be a unicorn trainer when I grow up. It's happening. We actually only got two, like one half of our order. And I thought to myself, did they make a mistake or am I just not used to eating an appropriate amount of food? I am so excited right now. Is this the proper amount of excitement for chicken wings? It's not like we're getting a pet unicorn or something. Chicken wings. It's so different and amazing. You can't eat them until we're done filming the video. What? Are you serious? Yes. We gotta film the video. That don't seem fair. <laughs> what do you have on this? Cause these smell really good. So we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. The girl was like naked. Seriously? Like really? Nothing, no seasoning, no sauces. What could I interest you in? No, nothing. Not nothing. Honey. Here's the funny part of it. So I tried to order our wings online. It says there's no Buffalo Wild Wings within a hundred miles of us. <laughs> I'm like, that's weird. Did all of our Buffalo Wild Wings close? So I try to call our Buffalo Wild Wings and you can't get through. It rings for one second and says, there's nobody available to answer your call. So I'm like, okay. So I call over to another one in Fort Lauderdale and I'm like, are you guys still having a buy one get one? He's like, absolutely. And I was like, is the store in Coral Springs closed? And he's like, no. I'm like, I've been trying to call him and he can't get through. He's like, well, that's weird. And I'm like, and I tried to place an order online and it says there's no Buffalo Wild Wings within a hundred miles. And he was like, well, we just became a franchise instead of corporate owned, but you should still be able to order. So we drive over to the one in Coral Springs and yep, they're open. And it turns out that the entire computer system for the company is down. It was like, everything was fine up until you, you know, needed wings. Have you been on a 44 day challenge for right. some reason? Like that's all I can figure. I was getting worried we weren't gonna be able to get our Buffalo Wild Wings and I've been like dreaming about these for four days. So we order our wings and I go to use one of my gift cards because I have like three $50 gift cards and it won't go through. And they're like, oh no, no, it, it affects that too. Oh good. And it affects the fact that like your reward your points, system, yeah. Which I just realized she didn't give me the QR code, so now I have to go back up there tomorrow because I want my points from my wings. So we got our wings. Then when we go to pick them up, she only has half our order. <laughs> it was like obstacle over obstacle. But you know what? If you want something bad enough, you will make it happen, and That's, we proved we, that. we made it happen. We waited. We actually went into Buffalo Wild Wings, we ordered them, and then we went to the Walmart next door to look for the Blackstone electric griddles, which they didn't have they any. They didn't have it ours. So we're gonna order them online. But uh, we got our wings, brought them home, we toasted them up in the toaster oven, we were ready to eat. I did wanna mention, I saw in the comments when we were talking about wings, a bunch of people going, you gotta be careful with wings. You know, they're fried in bad oils, and a lot of times they'll inflame you. We know that. That's why we choose Buffalo Wild Wings right. because Buffalo Wild Wings actually fries all of their wings in beef tallow. Isn't that great? Which is amazing. There's one other wing place, place around here that I really, really enjoy. It's called Wings Plus and they fry their wings 
in peanut oil, which if I can't have beef towel, I would take the peanut oil, but peanut oil can be very inflammatory, not as inflammatory, at least for me, as canola oil and corn oil and stuff, but when you can get beef tallow and on a buy one get one day, get it while the get is good. Will take it. So this is just we, we're each gonna start off with fifteen and see how it goes. I know Rachel thinks she can eat a hundred. I don't think she can. We shall see. So what I did was I took a half a cup of butter, one stick, I melted it. I put like just like literally five drops of Frank's Red Hot in there. Mm -hmm. And then a whole bunch of the Redmond organic seasoned salt. So, so we always, this is, I'm sorry, this is the lemon pepper one. Oh, good. So we know. we always like the lemon pepper wings from them. That we can trust Redmond. Yeah. So, you know, do we have 50 million flavor variety? No, but we know we have garlic and pepper. We know we have lemon pepper. We know we have the seasoning salt. Like we're in a good place. Yeah. I was going to use the uh, pork and good because I know that that doesn't have any maltodextrin. But oh, we just. Excuse me wanted to basically eliminate any extra variables. We've right. been using this all along. So I know that that's good. This is just organic lemon pepper from Redmond. It's a good seasoned salt, really delicious. There is a coupon code down below for 15% off if you're interested in getting it. Buy it in the big tub too. And we have used a couple of drops of the, the kind hot of pepper sauce, sauce. Yeah. Because to adhere this to some of the the roasts that we yeah. are making one thing about frank's red hot and i've said this in one of the other vlogs if you go to the store you're going to see two kinds you're going to see just the bottle of frank's red hot and you're going to see the wing sauce never buy the wing sauce right because the wing sauce is basically the red hot sauce just the cayenne pepper sauce in canola oil so the better thing to do and this is how most wings places almost all wings places use frank's red hot yeah and they make it themselves what do they do they melt butter and add frank's red hot because butter's delicious you want it you want a mild one it's a lot of butter with a little bit of frank's you want medium it's like 50 50 and that's how they do it so yeah. don't buy their wing sauce because they're using a bad oil make your own with just plain frank's red hot or any kind of hot sauce you want and butter are you ready yes First thing, other than beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, we in gotta dink 45 it. days. Yeah, oh, this is the 45th day. This is 45 days. Wow. And this is our first meal of the day at 7 o'clock at night. Mm. Wow. Mm. Man, that is tasty. I am not going to lie. That is tasty. That is good. And they're nice and juicy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. I missed you. I really hope you don't inflame me. <laughs> I have to tell you, I like this better than the Buffalo Wild Wings Lemon Pepper. Me too. Me too. Right? Mm -hmm. Especially because it's like this coarse grind. So you're so you've got, really tasting you the see lemon the and the pepper in there. I actually thought it was garlic because it's so chunky. Yeah, you can actually see on here the little pieces of lemon pepper. Like, this is awesome. I don't even know if you need the Frank's Red Hot unless you want to add some extra heat. It's Melt got a nice, butter. Yeah, the butter. Toss them in butter, and mm -hmm. then let this adhere to it because of the butter. The butter is... Because honestly, I don't taste the Frank's Red Hot because I literally put five drops. Like, but the butter is delicious. Like, a teaspoon to a teaspoon in there. But this is really good. So... I'm not going to eat these on camera because it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. Rachel's already eating bones. I know. I already started doing the bones. So, like, that bone will be half when she's done. Uh, we will wrap up this video when we're done, and we're going to talk about what's going on with the scale, our pictures, and everything else. I can't believe I'm about to say this. Oh. I ate, it was 14 wings, not 15. We I counted Well, them. there's more in the other container. But I'm full. Who is this woman speaking? Right? You're, you're full. I got three left. But I'm tapping out. Here's now I probably will eat the ends of your bones. That's what I do. Well, See, you like can I have one of my wings. I eat the ends I'm of the bones. I'm saving these for a little while because I know my body. Uh, yeah. And a lot of times like Rachel will be full for the night. Like I'm done for the night. And I need like an hour. That's just how I work. But I honestly, I want to eat these right now. But I also already feeling it coming up the top and the bottom. I TMI, do. but that's how I, I mean, oh my gosh, like I'm a lightweight. I do not feel the need to play cleanup. 
We've eaten 30 wings in the past I've, and still been full and still been hungry. Yeah. So I know what comfortably full feels like and I'm wow. and I'm I'm going to stay there. I, I I'm disappointed in myself. Like I guess really? I guess you won't be doing a challenge with Bronson anytime soon. <laughs> I just find I it, watched that man eat 30 wings with no problem. I just <clears throat> find it amazing, right? Now, here's here's the only issue. We bought like an order of wings. I know. I eat the ends off. I um no 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 ends left and you suck the marrow out. I did. I love the marrow. That's my like my favorite part. Um but we bought wings like we used to purchase wings. Yeah. And we can't have wings Well, we tomorrow. also knew this was the only thing we were going to eat today. So I figured like 30 wings, 7 o'clock at night. Yeah. We've, we've eaten 30 wings, no problem. I mm -hmm. mean, this is our normal order. Buy, buy two 15 buy one, get ones. We each get 30. A lot of times, like Rachel would eat like 20 now and then 10 in a couple of hours. And I would do like 15 and 15 or something like that. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat anything else tonight. I, I, oh, I know. I'm done. I mean, maybe I'll get those two wings in, but now I've got an extra 30 wings. What are we, we can't eat them tomorrow. No, because the way that we're checking to see if we have any reaction to them is tomorrow, now that we've eaten this, tomorrow we will go back to eating beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Just for the day. That's why we're going to continue vlogging right now so you guys can see what's going see on. And then see what happens on Thursday. Yeah. Because if we do feel inflammation or something's going on, we don't feel good, we know it's not the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Yeah, because a lot of times what you eat, you know, it, it, does, it may not affect you right away. It, it could take a couple of days. And it's the same thing with weight loss. You know, if, or weight gain. You know, a lot of times you're going to get on the scale and you're up four or five pounds. You're like, what did I eat yesterday? Well, it may a not lot be of times yesterday. that's two days, three days, four days beforehand. I mean, I this morning I got up and I'm like, I look good. And in the afternoon I'm like, what's happening? It doesn't look like the same person. Wow. Well, and I mean, yeah, you can have water retention yeah. from all kinds of stuff. And I like to think... I should have taken my pictures this morning. Right. I like to think of it like you do with working out. So if you work out one day, the next day, you honestly feel like you got away with something, right? Like mm -hmm. you, you're thinking like, okay, wow, I did... It was arms day and my arms feel completely fine. Like I must be able to exercise no problem. Then like two days later after that, mm -hmm. you're like, I'm going to, I think my arms are going to fall off of my body. Oh yeah. Right? Because it's not an immediate result. I feel that way. I'm sorry. I think I had pepper stuck in my teeth. So I'm sorry if you saw that. Um, I have that right now with my thighs because I ran so many miles. But that this was on past Sunday. Weekend. So, well, you got to remember I did four football games on Saturday. So we were on the field from two o'clock in the afternoon until 9 30 at night and they were playoff games so we were running and then sunday i was starting to feel it <clears throat> but i worked five lacrosse games so i was on the field from 8 a.m until one o'clock in the afternoon so between those two days my thighs because i was running are hurting but this is tuesday you didn't do lacrosse games today and you didn't do it Monday, but you're feeling it from the oh, yeah. weekend. I started feeling it yesterday. And then by the end of the day, I could like hardly walk. My muscles just were so sore. Wow. And, you know, I drank a bunch of keto chow electrolyte drops thinking that maybe was I just cramping. And I think maybe some of it was cramping, mm -hmm. but a lot of it was I just, I really worked my thigh muscles. But that's from stuff I did a couple of days ago. Yeah. So we want to talk about pictures. Yes. We took our pictures. We did take our pictures. We did get on the scale. We did do our measurements. But and I'm, we're not going to tell you what they are. I am <laughs> not going to show any emotion at all. And that's very hard for me because, yeah, it's going to be in the next video. Yeah. So we were going to put it in tonight's video. But by the time we got home from Buffalo Wild Wings... I had to go help Caleb try to fix his car because his air conditioner is leaking yeah. the condensation water inside. And so I want to put it in the video, right? We want to be able to put them up like side by side. So we're going to show you the pictures tomorrow. And we're going to discuss 
our weight loss as Charity walks right in dun, front of the dun, camera dun, and dun. sits oh, there. Oh yeah, she's gonna sit right there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna show you our pictures. We're gonna talk about our measurements. Uh, we will talk about our weight and if we're disappointed with our weight or not. Yeah. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. And then we're gonna figure out what do we want to keep doing and what do we want to incorporate? Do we want to go back to beef butter and bacon and eggs? Do we need to change anything up? Yeah. So you'll have to check in for tomorrow. Now, I do want to say, <clears throat> if you haven't watched Keto on the Couch from this week, go check it Don't out. Do that. Today's video counts. This is one of the videos that counts. The only video this week that will not count is Thursday's live stream. Right. That video will not count for this. But uh, go ahead and check out that video. I am painstakingly going through and reading every comment, and it's a lot of them. But we are reading all of the comments. Yeah, we are. And we appreciate everybody for supporting us, by watching us, by watching the ads, by clicking the like button. If you haven't clicked the like button on this video, what are you waiting for? It's free. <laughs> oh Please my go down below and hit the like Hit the dislike button for Who all I care. Who is this guy? You know? It's free though. Go hit the like button. Is this what chicken does to you? I think so. I think I have pepper stuck in my teeth. So what that means is it's time to end this vlog. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time I put food back, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.